Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Home Built, and today I'm going to be separating the Ford 9N that I showed in my previous video, and I'm going to try to get the flywheel out, uh, remove the ring gear from the flywheel. I've ordered a new flywheel ring gear. I've ordered a tune-up kit um, that covers engine oil filter, uh, plugs, wires, distributor parts, um, and a wiring harness and I'm probably going to go ahead and order a, a replacement radiator as well. Um, I don't want to run the tractor without servicing it uh, and knowing that everything's working well. Um, that way I'm not doing any sort of you know unnecessary damage to the tractor. I, I received the tractor as kind of I explained in my previous video from my grandfather um, who recently passed away. Um, he was a great guy. We, we miss him very much. And what he used the tractor for was to basically remove firewood, things like that from the woods, things around his farm. Um, he had a bush hog. I have a bush hog, a plow, and a, a small grader blade for it. I'm new to owning a tractor. I've been around them for a long time. Um, I used to work for a cat dealer, and I worked on a lot of equipment. Um, I've driven a lot of different equipment, so I'm not new to uh, working on things or, or being around equipment, but this is my first old tractor, so I'm kind of learning along with you watching at home uh, as far as this, this older tractor. So, uh, but like I said, I hope to basically get the, the tractor back in a good working order that I know that I'm not doing any undue damage to it while I'm, while I'm using it. And, as I stated, I, I don't have anything in the tractor, so I would like to at least invest a little bit of time and money into it to, to know that I'm prolonging the, the life of it and that I'm taking care of something that was passed down to me that uh, is sentimental to me. Um, actually, it's kind of funny, the tractor I've known since I was a little kid, my grandfather's always had it and he had a die cast version of the tractor on top of his refrigerator and as I was a kid I would always drive him uh, just nuts about you know getting the tractor and you know can I have the toy can I have the toy and he would they wouldn't give me the tractor or he he said no that's my that's that's my toy of the tractor and so one year for Christmas I actually they, they got me a, a die cast version of a, of a Ford 8 in as well and so we, as the family and I were looking back through pictures uh, and, and different memories from the past, and I found the, the pictures of the tractor whenever uh, he was using it, whenever he got it, somewhere around the 80s mark, I believe. And uh, so we found some pictures of the tractor in good condition running then, and then a picture of me as a, as a kid at Christmas receiving the uh, die cast version of it. So that was really neat, and I, I enjoy, I, I heat with wood heat, I have wood in my garage, I, I have wood heat in my home, so uh, my parents and I live uh, relatively close to each other. We have about 12 acres or so of woods, and so that's exactly my plan for the tractor is to use it just as he was using it to harvest wood out of the woods or move a trailer around or, or something of that nature. So. Um, it, it's special to us and um, you know I appreciate you watching my video hopefully that we can kind of like I said learn together I can bring some knowledge um, as well as myself learn and we I can kind of put the tractor back into a, a good working order so I hope you like the video if if this helps you please like uh, subscribe share the video um, and Hopefully, like I said, I can continue to put these videos out and uh, start doing some other things. My, my goal is to start planning on putting out maybe around one video a week. I'm going to do different things, uh, work around my house, uh, maybe some axe head repair videos of rehandling some old axes. Um, I have a Martin house that somebody got me that was a gift uh, to put up that uh, was for my grandfather passing. Um, and so I have quite a few small projects. I have a Delta bandsaw that I got from him that I plan on putting the uh, new drive tires on. The drive tires on the bandsaw were completely dry rotted, so I ordered two new tires 
So I've got some other things coming up, and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and end it with that, and, and I'll get to the video of me working on the tractor. But I appreciate you, uh, like I said, watching, and thanks for your support, and have a great day. So I'm taking the nut off this drag link and I'm going to turn it around and put it back on upside down with the parts where the cotter key goes back through it to, to knock the joint loose. That way you don't damage the nut. A lot of times a good brass hammer and you can hit the joint and it'll free up on its own. Like that. It just broke free. I do have a jack underneath the front of the engine because I'm, I'm assuming that when I take these two drag links loose, it's this front end is only on a pivot in the middle, so I don't want the tractor to roll on me. So if you're doing it, you may support the engine, which I'm going to have to put jack stands underneath the back of the tractor here when I split it in the first place. disconnected the radiator lines and I'm working on taking the starter off here right now. It's a two bolt starter and from what I've noticed of taking it off before this video, this rear cap holds the <clears throat> uh, magnets onto the rear armature in the starter. So you have to be careful when you take it off otherwise you can get it back together but it's a little bit of a pain and you have to take this collar off and pull the um, springs back that hold the magnets in place and kind of get everything lined back up. So I'm going to try to just be careful and not take that apart when I take the uh, starter off. I'm actually going to leave the bolts in it because I think that helps a little bit to kind of So we're back and um, I've got the tractor split into two pieces. I think you could see that on the video. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what I was talking about as far as the flywheel and where the teeth are gone. And there's some metal down there in the bottom of the bell housing as well. So this is what was happening. And when the starter was coming through the hole where it mounts and then when the flywheel would get into a specific position, seemed to be most of the time when I shut it off so that must be one of the spots that the engine seems to come to rest um, I don't know if that's top dead center on number one or uh, exactly how the uh, forward rotates and what kind of position it comes to when it stops but it seems to come to that position quite a bit so I decided to go ahead and do this because I don't want to get the tractor back running and get potentially stuck somewhere in the woods or you know out running it and not be able to get it back restarted everything seems to look um, really good now most people would probably call me crazy for not addressing or maybe changing the clutch at this point but the clutch does really well and grabs fine um, so I don't I'm not going to do that at this time um, everything inside of the 
uh, bell housing as far as the drive and the transmission. All looks good. Splines look to be okay. Um, the throw out bearing seems to be okay. Uh, so I don't see any issues there. Um, so as far as I know, I'm just like I said, I'm going to uh, remove the clutch and remove the flywheel and then I'll heat and drive this ring gear off. Um, and then I have a new one coming, should be in like the first of the week. So um, one thing I did notice when I took this and separated the tractor, uh, the engine also pivots, which you know is probably common sense, but the engine also pivots in this area. So if you're taking one apart and pulling it back on a jack like this, uh, just be really careful that the engine doesn't tilt one way or the other. I may wind up putting some jack stands underneath of it for the time being just so it's not dangerous sitting here or I don't come out and it's flopped over and cracked something. So.
Okay guys, so to uh, kind of wrap up the video, um, next part will be probably next week when I get the parts that I've ordered in. Um, like I said, I ordered a ring gear, I ordered a new wiring harness, um, and I ordered a full tune-up kit. So I was really torn on whether or not to split the tractor um, just because I didn't want to go to that extent. but. I decided, you know, I'm at this point, I have the hood off and things, so I probably just might as well go ahead and do it. Uh, I believe I'm also going to go ahead and order a radiator for it and try to get the majority of the running components back together and like I said, to have it in some sort of a serviceable fashion that, or what I know, it's been serviced and, and so that when I'm running it, it's not doing any damage to the, to the tractor. So kind of went over a few things that I did. Um, obviously you saw me remove the, the flywheel and go ahead and split the tractor. Now I did um, wind up putting some jack stands underneath both um, drag links or I guess front uh, axle um, support beams or arms. That it's kind of like the Ford I beam that goes out to the front, front of the tractor. So I put, I put uh, jack stands on both sides um, supporting the tractor that way. I got the flywheel off as you saw and then I, I was able to get the ring gear off. Uh, I did have to use a cutting torch to cut through the ring gear. Um, the, the standard trying to heat it up a little bit and then drive it off method was not working. I didn't have a, um, a rosebud for my torch. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at with it and you know hopefully I can get these parts in next week. Um, like I said I'll be going over. Uh, putting the new ring gear on, um, putting the flywheel back in, putting the tractor back together. Uh, by that point, I hope to, and I'm probably not going to record anything as far as cleaning up the rest of the tractor uh, and, and trying to get some paint on it. So before those parts come in, the next time you'll see it, I'll probably go ahead and have the engine painted. Um, and everything pretty much ready to, to do the tune-up and the maintenance service, the engine oil and everything like that. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like my video, please uh, like and subscribe. This is uh, completely new to me. I may have explained that on the first video that I put out. I shot the first video with my cell phone and just really was not happy with the video quality. I was able to pick up a decent small camera used locally I, I found some some guys off of Facebook that were using it uh, it's a Canon Vixia that I'm shooting off of and um, I just really wanted to bring something more to the video especially when I'm getting in and trying to do detailed work um, YouTube is a whole new journey for me uh, and I'm trying to kind of um, at least put out some content that that may help other people and to try to bring some knowledge and, and things like that uh, as well as learn from other people that may have you know comments that uh, can you know shed their light on, on how to do things better so uh, I appreciate you following along like I said stay tuned for um, another video should have it out sometime next week maybe towards the end of the week and be working on putting the tractor back together by that point so Thanks for watching, and we appreciate you being here. God bless you and your families. Um, thanks to all of our men and women in law enforcement and people that are fighting for this country overseas and our military. Uh, I appreciate your support, and, and we really uh, just appreciate you watching the video. So thanks for your time. Have a great day.